An Oregon City local has some big dreams with the WNBA. LaSalle Prep and Oregon State University alum Aaliyah Goodman is hoping to hear her name called tomorrow in the WNBA draft. Our Fox Show's Nick Krepke chatted with the Beaver grad who says she is beyond grateful to have left her mark in her home of the Beaver State. To finish my high school career in the same place I started my college career. Um, and then just to go through that entire journey, being a Beaver these last four years. Aliyah Goodman is an all Pac-12 player who is leveling up now to the pros after a lifetime of memories and friends obtained in Corvallis. The season ended about two weeks ago, and I really haven't been able to like put into words my career at Oregon State and how much that's it's meant to me. It's all good, man. Aaliyah passed on an extra year of NCAA eligibility granted during the pandemic to chase that pro career. It kind of just got to a point where it was time for me to get a little uncomfortable. Um, it was time for me to grow in areas that I needed to push myself. And that comes with stepping out of your comfort zone. And I feel like obviously being an Oregon kid, born and raised in Oregon, going to Oregon State, this is my comfort zone. I love, I love it here. I have my family right down the road. I have another family now in Corvallis in a place I call home here. Um, but I started to get content here and very comfortable. And I just felt it was my time. And um, I mean, having the opportunity to play professionally, whether that's in the WNBA or overseas is something that I've dreamed of. So a chance to get uncomfortable. And that's obviously a big change from you. I mean, being in a place where you, you, you had your role and you were beloved and now you got professionals telling you, oh, we like it, but we don't like it maybe enough. Difficult to hear. I mean, that, that hardens people. Yeah, it is a little difficult to hear. Like you said, you, you, I made a name for myself here. Um, and it's funny, my dad was looking at like a little bio on me and it said rookie. And it's just, you, I haven't heard that. I haven't been a rookie for four years now. So it, it's a little, it's, I wouldn't, I mean, it's hard. It is hard to hear. It's a little punch to the gut. Um, when I was told that, I was like, whoa. But then I just know that, hey, I believe in myself. Um, and then if I get someone else to believe in me and give me that opportunity, I'm gonna prove them right and show them that I can play. On the edge of a dream and on the bubble of being a WNBA draft pick. This level demands work. It demands your best at all times. And so if you don't have that love and pure joy when doing it, it, it can be really hard. Just keep working, keep working at it. Don't tell, don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. Awesome, Ali, you're a good kid. Good, I guess a woman, I can't call you a kid anymore, you're 22. No, it's okay, I don't mind being called a kid. <laughs> I, I like it better. Yeah. I'm like, oh, please do not call me an adult. I am not an adult yet. <laughs> with the kid, while home with my own, Nick Krupke, Fox Oregon.